Hello everyone, I'm Roxana from the Office of Instructional Technology coming at you with yet another smart tip. Today we're going to be looking at the Smart Learning Suite Online. This is a great way to share your lessons with your students without them having to have the smart software. What you currently see in front of you is a Smart Notebook file with 11 pages. You see here we have a title page. I can continue. We have, we're going to be focusing on prime numbers and math riddles. I have a hook, which is a video. We're not going to move on past that one. This is a page where the students can work with infinite cloners. So here I, they can put these directly on top to try to identify which numbers are prime and which ones are not. And give me a second, I'm going to get rid of these, I'm deleting those. On the next page, I have just simple content in regards to the, the divisibility rules. And then we begin to check for understanding. So here the students will circle the prime numbers with the pin that will be given to them at the point where uh, they are online. Now I continue have here a, another checking for understanding. This is a sorting between prime and composite numbers. I have the super sort smart lab activity. I continue. I have some math riddles here. I, again, I have infinite cloner digits at the top. All of these numbers 0 through 9 are infinite cloners and they are to make 10 digit numbers. I'm sorry, they are to use all 10 digits to make five numbers that are either multiples of three, multiples of seven, or prime numbers. More riddles. The next one is to see if they can follow instructions in regards to mathematical words. Here is just a simple one where you might have them have a worksheet and they're filling out the worksheet for you. And then the last one is three things that they learned today. And what I did at the bottom of this is say, be ready, I'll be checking with you tomorrow. What I would like to do now is save and share my lessons with some colleagues and with my students. First with my colleagues, I'm going to go up to file, down towards the middle, I'm going to hit share, and it's saving and now I get to choose sharing using a link. When I click on there, it will upload my file to my Smart Learning Suite online, and it will also give me a link that I can use to share with my teachers. And so know that when I share this with my students, they will also have the opportunity to use the Infinite Cloner, the Smart Lab activities to watch the video, and so forth in regards to uh, working online with this smart lesson. It looks like it's almost done and so as soon as it's done we're going to say okay and we're going to take that link and we're going to share it with uh, the colleagues. Here we go. So we're going to say check. So now I've opened up a, an email. I have it going to one of my colleagues. This is sharing the lesson. I'm going to click here. I'm going to do control V and there is my link. I will then send it and the person who receives it can click on it and open it and they will have the lesson that we just just talked about. The next thing I will do is go up to account and see how sign in is faded out. That means I'm signed in to SMART. So then I'm going to go to my SMART, uh, to my Chrome browser and enter Hello SMART. And this is the home page. You can always click here to refresh your page or go to the home page. Notice that this is the title screen that I had earlier for my lesson. And now what I can do is click on it and it's going to show me, it's going to ask me if I want to get started. I'm going to go ahead and hit start. And here is my lesson. And notice that I have no students here. So I'm going to click on my little Lego person and this is where I go. And so what I'm going to do is now go to incognito. 
because I'm logged in as a teacher, I'm going to go ahead and go to hellosmart.com. I'm going to enter the unique teacher number. It was 90441. It will be different for every teacher. I hit next. I'm going to go ahead and put test trial. And I'm going to say join. And you could have your students enter their first name and last name. Be sure to be specific. And in the incognito window, I'm detached from um, any sign-ins that I'm currently at. So here it is. This is what the student will see. Notice on the left-hand side here, I have a down arrow. It will take me through the different um, pages. So this is, that was the page that told me I was talking about sharing prime numbers and math riddles. Here is the video. I could push play here if I want it, but I'm going to continue. Here I can show you that I have the infinite cloner working just the same as it did earlier. I can continue and I have a content page with vis visibility rules. Here I would want the students to circle prime numbers. On the left hand side I do have a pen. I can choose a color. I can choose the thickness. Um, I also have pastel colors. And so there it is. And so if I see a prime number, for instance, 47, I could circle this. And the students could continue. If you wanted to collect some data, you could have them take a screenshot, upload it into your Google Classroom. Um, when I continue, here is my uh, super sort activity. The student can start it. And just as they were working in the classroom, well, sorry about that. Okay, they can play the same way. We're going to continue here again. We have all the digits that are infinite cloners. And they can continue with that. Over here, they can take the shape and move it around. It says square four, so they would start on 16 and so forth, just like they would do in the classroom. And you can continue. And here they would again write in what they would need to do. So this is the way that they would, the student would use the lesson. And when they're done, they could just go out the door and they would be removed from there. I would leave class. I've closed out my incognito window and I'm on the teacher side now. Notice again that I have zero students. I went ahead and logged off. But for the teacher side, you could add a blank page to give more information or you could do a shout it out activity. This would stop the students work. They would work on the activity and then when you as a teacher move on, the students could continue the work. This has been Smart Learning Suite Online. Thank you for your time and efforts, and stay tuned for yet another smart tip. Thank you, and goodbye.